Welcome Gemini. Okay, so we'll be looking at the next two weeks and what it is that we can help you with over this time. Okay, Gemini, so we're using the Druid Wisdom cards. We are using the Mystical Journey Oracle and Lightseer's Tarot. Okay, so we're going to start with the Druid cards here. It's really funny because um, with Aries reading, I was using another deck of these, of the small cards. And then when it came to Taurus, I was like, nah, we've got to use the Druid Wisdom. So I don't know why that's happened. Look, maybe it was just that Aries needed this, um, those messages and everyone else needs these ones. I don't know, maybe it will change on the next lot. So who knows? Anyway, we want three cards for Gemini, please. Oh, there's one jump out there. And also with these cards, so I just want to explain something because this has landed with the picture, okay? So you've got the picture here and then you've got writing in there, okay? So this has landed with a picture and I'm just saying that there could be a new beginning. Okay, so one more card. Oh, what's that? That's a rock. Interesting. A rock. And okay, I'll show you in a minute, but yeah. Okay, here's the last one. Okay, so Gemini, we have got, what is this? Midnight Sky. See the picture there? Okay, so Midnight Sky. Whenever the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on St. Bridget to hold you in stillness and care. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, now it's got this, I think it's a crystal that I don't even know if I'll be able to pronounce. Carrie Chrysocola. <laughs> I'll spell it out. For wisdom and deep compassion. So Chrysocola. Anyway, it's C-H-R-Y-S-O-C-O-L-L-A. Okay. So yeah. um, You know, you could have like a clear quartz crystal and you could just infuse that with you know, the intention that it brings wisdom and deep compassion for you if you haven't got that particular crystal. So you don't necessarily have to go out and buy these things. Okay, so the next card here is this rock. See? Long hidden friend. Oh, a long hidden friend underneath the rock. Okay, a guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or a sound. Carry bloodstone in your pocket and trust nature to guide the way. Oh, I love that. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, spells in the wind. Look at this. This is like a journey, a path, right? Okay, so spells in the wind. Shout loud to the heavens. Sing songs to the air. At the strength of your conviction will carry you there. Okay, so this says meditate with an adophilite crystal to expand and empower your spiritual aura. A new path awaits. Yeah, so it's this new beginning, right? Oh, I love this. Okay, right, Gemini, let's have a look, see here. Oh, and we've got new beginnings at the bottom of the deck as well. But anyhow, let's just see what jumps out for you. Okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I really like the Druid Wisdom. You know, for such a long time, I've had these for, gosh, at least a couple of years, and I've never used them. But now I just feel called to use them. So it's so funny how that happens. Now they're really like talking to me. So yeah, got the connection going on with the Druid Wisdom. Gemini, okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Give me a card for Gemini, please. Otherwise, I'm just going to flip one. Okay. I think. Let's have a look. Gemini. Letting go. Okay. Letting go. So is this for you to begin this new journey? Maybe. Letting go of things that don't serve you. I feel like there's this need to surrender. To just let go and surrender. You know how sometimes when everything just gets far too heavy for us to bear and we just have to let go 
you know, I feel like this is what's needed because we've got the boat here and it's waiting. It's waiting for you to jump on it to, um, to start this new journey, right? And at the moment, you're just suspended in, this, in the air here. And it feels like there's this sense of vulnerability and all, almost like you just want to sleep and not have to actually deal with this. Um, and I just wonder if some of you might not feel quite strong enough for this yet. Um, and there might just be a little bit of rest required, a bit of rest and healing, um, you know, a bit of self-nurturing so that you can, you're prepared to jump in the boat. You know, it's sort of like getting a really good night's rest before a long journey so that you're not tired when you begin that journey. And I feel like that's the case here for you. Let's have a look here. Okay, there you go. Didn't even say what I wanted it for, but okay. We've got the King of Wands here. Oh, I love this energy. And the Nine of Wands as well. The King of Wands here, this, um, look at him. Like, look at his power, right? He's standing in his power like he owns this. Okay, and I feel as though once you've had this rest and relaxation, um, this is really important for you to encompass this energy, okay? Because um, I actually feel like you do have the strength within you. It's it's actually you who doesn't believe that. We have the nine of wands as well. And notice how they're both carrying these wands lit and up, okay? Um, there's this passion within you, this fire within you. And I feel like, Gemini, it's a matter of lighting it. Okay, and having the strength to do so, right? Um, and because there's sort of this um, feeling here for me with this card um, of you being like standing by this fence here and going, do you know what? The fence is here. Can't get over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Oh, I just have to stay here. And, and it's sort of like you just kind of, it's, it's at knee height. It's not really stopping you. It's you who's stopping you. And it's kind of like this, this burden of fear, I feel, is what is stopping you. It feels like everything's too heavy for you to carry. Um, this is so interesting because on his shirt, I just noticed this gecko here. And um, I've never seen that before, but it's sort of like, scouring the lands, landscape type of thing, like exploring, there needs to be this exploration going on. And um, this exploration to discover not just who you are, Gemini, but also your strength. Okay, because I don't know if you really realize how strong you are. Okay, because it's like you can see it in everyone else, but you really don't give yourself the credit for where you've come from and where you are now. Okay, um, it's sort of like being in this suspended state and resting and going, yeah, but I'm just lying here. Like I'm actually not doing anything. Um, but understanding that the rest uh, is required in order to begin the next part, you know, the, the journey, the journey that awaits you, right? So yeah, that's super interesting, Gemini. And I really, I feel like, you know, there's been a lot that you have been through to this point. And for some of you, it's just a little bit like, I just, I just really don't want to go on the, the journey. All right, I just want to stay here. Like, why would I want to go on another journey, <laughs> you know? And that's, um, yeah, that's the energy. Okay, <laughs> I love this. Why, Gemini? It's for growth, yeah? So that you can grow, okay? Because you're going to stay stagnant um, unless you're on the journey. That requires this growth to happen, you know, because... You know, and, and look, this growth is, um, I feel like it's part of sort of these, oh, how do I put this? There's this wisdom inside of you that 
I think you need to become aware of, okay, and you're just absolutely not aware of it, okay, um, it's sort of like this long hidden friend is actually you, it's, this is you discovering you, okay, and um, it seems like you, um, I don't really know if you feel like you're worth investing your time into, to be honest. Tell me more about growth for Gemini, please. What's that? <laughs> Nine of Cups. One more card for growth for Gemini. Two of Cups. Wow. Wow. Gemini, this could very well be a new relationship coming in. And it could be someone who it takes quite an interest in you. Um, but you're just a little bit like, that's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Um, and it could be because of past relationships where you've been left high and dry. And um, because the Knight of Cups can be that real charmer, but he's really there's no substance behind it. He just knows how to put the charm on and play the game and then bam, away he goes and, and you're kind of left holding the, the cup like, well, what happened there? Like, at the beginning it's all very, you know, roses and wine and picnics and charms his way into your life and then leaves you, you're left holding the the ball, so to speak. Yeah. Um the other thing, though, with the Knight of Cups is I want to say it's almost, it, it, it's sort of like the other flip side of this that I'm getting is that it's kind of like this is about you charming yourself, kind of taking yourself on a date and um, giving yourself the love and tenderness and nurturing and the care that you deserve, right? It's sort of like you getting into a relationship with yourself in a sense, to kind of go, you know what, you're worth it, you're worth this, and um, yeah, I, I, I feel as though you, um, you, you are the one that you are searching for, what you search for is within you, yeah, Here it is, new beginnings, Gemini, new beginnings, love this, I love this, that is, has come up, I'm so pleased it has, new beginnings in love, um, I feel like some of you feel a little bit trapped though, which is interesting, so whether this is in an existing relationship and you want to break free from that or whether you would like to just have a new beginning in your life whatever that may be um it's it's here Gemini it's it's really you, you know you're just you've it's like you've had the, all the rest that you've needed um and now it's time to wake up and go okay time to move time to grow how exciting right and spells in the wind I want to read again Shout loud to the heavens, sing songs to the air. The strength of your conviction will carry you there. 100%. 100%, Gemini. Okay, so tell me more about new beginnings for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. Oh, that one's about to fall down. Oh, nine of swords. Okay. New beginnings for Gemini. One more card. One more card for Gemini for new beginnings. This is exciting. And the four of cups. <laughs> Gemini. This is this is this is this energy I feel that is holding you back from this new beginning. Because it, again, it's like this thing of what's the point? It's only gonna end up like this. I've done it before, and then I did it again. And then it didn't work out, so why bother? Well, the thing is that whatever the new beginning is, right, doesn't have to be in love necessarily, you know. It could be moving to a new home. It could be starting a job. It could be, you know, um, 
a new hobby, anything, anything, anything is new beginning. You know, Gemini, you're not silly, you know. But, you know, I think there's just a fear in you that you're going to end up in this, you know, this place of, like, everything feels like a burden, it's too much for you, you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to carry it all on your own. Okay, with the Two of Cups, I feel like this is an opportunity for you to receive help, to accept help, to not do it all on your own, to go, actually, yeah, I do need to delegate this, right? If you, say, had a, a wanted to go out and get a new job, or wanted to start maybe doing a course at night time, but you're always the one who, say, has to clean up the house or whatever, um, you can get other people to clean up the house. You can get other people. You can get them together and say, look, I really want to do this. This is my desire. This is my passion. This is what I want to do for me, um, and I need your help. Could, you know, let's work together um, to do this, you know, rather than really feeling like you're the only one who can take it all on board okay um because i feel as though there's this energy of feeling like you're missing out and everyone else is getting these opportunities or at least you're creating these opportunities or supporting these people in these opportunities but not really taking any for yourself and here's this opportunity presenting itself here but you're here busy going mm. Why can't I have anything come my way? Well, it's right there. But you're too in this sort of mode of like, it's never going to happen for me. Um, so it's it's hard to see when you're in that energy, right? Um, and it's sort of like burying your head in your hands um, is not allowing you to see what is out there for you. And I'm not, say, I'm not saying that to minimize anything that you're going through or to kind of say, just ignore what needs healing and just go out and do whatever. Um, because obviously these are really important things that we need to do in our lives. But um, I, it's, it's more this energy of it is there for you, Gemini. And um, it's just that it's a matter of you seeing it so that you can grab it, you know. Um, yeah. Long hidden friend. Let me read this again. A guide for travellers lost and found. He leads you to safety without a word or a sound. And it's sort of like that. It's like you've been travelling and you've gotten a bit lost along the way, right? And now you're being led to... This new beginning, which is safe and it's, you know, it's um, it's for you. Yeah. Okay, Gemini. Okay, we're going to flip it. Self-realization. Wow. Wow. This is you discovering. You know, look, all that's coming out here today may be actually going, making you go, oh my gosh, yes. Yes. You know, these are all things, this is all part of the journey, and this is also a reason for the journey, and this is going to help with this growth for you, right? The self-realization, understanding yourself and understanding who you are, okay? Because I feel as though, for some of you, you know um, everyone else around you better than you know yourself because you're not actually willing to give yourself the time to get to know yourself, or you may actually be a little bit like, eh, it doesn't matter, you know, because it's like, well, what do you feel about that? And you're like, eh, it doesn't matter what I feel, but, you know, it matters what this, these people here feel, you know. So um, this is very, <sighs> this is really important for you to be able to continue along your journey of your entire life. Okay, because there's this end of this sort of platform here, and I feel like as you take more steps, the platform will appear, but um, there's certain things that you need to be doing in your life for you to be able to see the platform. Okay, so tell me more about self-realization for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. Got the Knight of Pentacles. Oh wow, I think I'll take those because of the way they jumped out. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. 
I love this. See this person here? This guy's walking along and this person's walking along. And, and it's sort of like leaving this trail in case you get lost. A little bit like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I'm going, oh, just in case, let me just leave these things here so I can find my way back. But the thing is, Gemini, do you really want to turn back? Is that what you really want? You know, and she's at the end here and it's sort of like, oh, well, I've got the option to turn back because I left all these these coins behind there and it's fine. So that's not a worry. We don't have to worry about that. But is that the direction that you want to go in? Back there. You know, because what is back there? That's... Do you want to go back to that, right? Do you want to go back to that energy where you feel closed out, where you feel alone, where you feel like you've got nobody, where you feel like you're in despair? Where you can't see the, the way forward, where you can't see the light? Do you want to go back to that darkness? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure you do, Gemini. I, I hope you don't. Yeah? Um, because what, what is ahead is this, this high priestess energy. Okay, and look, what's ahead may not be known and it may be scary. It's not revealed itself. You don't know. But the thing is that along the way, what you've learned is you've learned, you know, this is all part of you getting to know yourself right, learning to trust your intuition, learning that um, what it is that you've experienced along the journey has allowed this intuition and um, these senses to develop so that it can help you along the next part of this journey, along this new journey, right? So this is really important for you to start understanding who you are, Gemini, because you're not just Gemini. You are Gemini, right? Come on, like tap into that twin <laughs> because... I feel like some of you are only embodying one twin. It's almost like one twin has taken over, but you need to, the other one to come in to take some control and kind of take the lead and go, nah, no more of that. We've done that. We tried that way, and now we're going this way. Yeah? Okay, so next card for Gemini, please. I thought one was going to, I feel like I need to shovel again, shovel again. My words sometimes during these readings, honestly, they just don't make sense. Okay, so Gemini, what have we got here? Redemption. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. There's so many, there's so, so many parts of yourself, Gemini, like we talk about the twin aspect of a Gemini, but I feel like with Geminis, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of other parts of ourselves. And um, this here is you um, sort of like, rising up like if we look at this energy here of being in this rest period yeah this journey of this growth and the new beginning the self-realization i'm really feeling like this is the result okay of rising up it's sort of like because you can see down here all these ones here it's like this has been the journey right this has been the journey and um and it's kind of sort of like there's this need for you to look back not go back but look back look back on the journey look back from where you've come okay so that you can really start to give yourself credit for um you know and and do that honestly do that in in not just a oh yeah okay you know really um because there's nothing wrong with you being proud of yourself and nothing wrong with you standing in that power and that confidence to say, I did this. 
this is pretty incredible what I've done, what I've been through and and what I've been able to achieve here, you know, um, because, you know, it could be the case, Gemini, that given all that, that those trials and tribulations and everything that you have been through, give that to the next person, they may crumble at the first sign of trouble, you know, so I think that you really need to, um, start to understand <laughs> that you are this freaking magician, right? And this card here does represent Gemini. That you've been able to create something out of nothing. You know, you've done this. You have done this. And, and it really is. When you look back and you see what you've been through to where you are now, it is like magic. You know, and you can create even more because of the experiences that you've had. You'll be able to see how powerful you are and go, man, I can take on anything. If I can handle all that, I can do anything, you know. And so, yeah, I, I, I honestly do feel like you're just not giving yourself enough credit. Nine of Pentacles, look at this, this is it, I love this, you know, this is you, this is what you can reach, This. these are the heights that you can reach, this is you creating your life, you know, understanding that you can create your life however you want it, right, because she has all these pentacles here, and, um, but, this is the beauty of it, Gemini. She doesn't just have pentacles. She's created this pentacle here, this color, and this size with this pattern. And then this one here, and that one there, and that one there. She's brought out this creativity in herself to, to um, not just create these pentacles, but create the life that she wants. She has done this on her own terms by standing in her power. Okay, because it seems like I just wonder if some of you don't even know what um, standing in your power looks like. But the thing is, this is why it's important for you to look back to see where you've come from. To see that you have been, all this time, Gemini, been standing in your power. You know, and um, and this is about you. create. You know, actually, at the beginning of creating a whole new... Um, sort of the beginning of a whole new life in a sense for yourself so how does how do you want that to look you know what do you want that to look like you want it to look like the nine of pentacles this is what you have the ability ability to create okay this is you rising up gemini yeah so let's have get the last card for you here gemini last card for gemini really hoping it yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I'm really hoping it flips. And it did. And we have the eternal self. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is, I feel like, this is such a gorgeous card. This is you downloading absolutely everything that you've learned. Um, not just from li this lifetime, this lifetime, but past lifetimes as well. Okay, really calling in all aspects of yourself. So that you can, um, this is more than just standing in your power. This is you calling back everything, all parts of your soul to yourself. And we talk about standing in your power. This is going to be beyond that, man, beyond that. Okay, this, this new journey here, Gemini, it's going to take you to places you can only dream of. Okay, but it's up to you whether you let go of these energies that are holding you back here. Okay, you have the ability to step out of this. Whether you want to or not is entirely up to you, but this is what awaits you if you choose to. Okay, um, you know, your eternal self is that, that, I was trying to remember the saying before, um, but I just, can't, I don't want to butcher it because it is so so crucial but this is you know you understanding that um yeah. 
you, you're the master of your life, I suppose, you know. Um, yeah. Eternal self. Two cards for eternal self for Gemini, please. Give me two cards for eternal self for the Gemini. I really love this. Thank you. We've got justice, balance. Oh, wow. Wow. Really, really being aware of who you are, seeing who you are, the truth of who you are, you know, um, more than just this human being that resides on this earth, so much more than that, right? Getting balance in your life, really coming into your own, you know, and, um, and sort of balancing out again, like I was talking about before with the twins, Right, balancing that out, allowing both of them to work together rather than one just taking the lead. Okay, and we have the full. And this is this new beginning again. Again, you were suspended. Okay, the new beginning is there for the taking, but it is whether you choose to take it or not, Gemini. Okay, so it is entirely up to you. You have the power and you have the control to make this happen for yourself. Give yourself the rest that you need in order to take this on. Because man, oh man, are you worth it. Okay, Gemini, I'll leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.